So today is April 2nd. I got my paycheck from my part-time job today and then um, the paycheck from the last paycheck from my previous full-time employer was um, also showed up in my account as pending so I'm going to budget both those checks. Um, before I do that you see the 674 in here. I went ahead and entered in the cash or the interest I received on my interest-bearing checking and interest-bearing savings account for the month of March so that was 86 cents for um, March for my checking account and then 588 for um, my savings account for a total of 674 like I said this is from my just this is just the interest for my high yield savings and then I also have the checking account um, both of these rates have actually gone down effective April 1st, so it was at 1.6% 1, 1. for my savings and I think 0.45% for my checking and now it's like 1.35 for savings and like 0.25 for my checking. So um, obviously with everything going on in the world with COVID, that's happening, but as of now, I have 674 from interest and what I'm going to do is I always put the interest that I get from my savings and checking account. I always budget that towards my emergency fund. So now I have twenty or two thousand fifty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents in that emergency fund. Next, I'm going to go ahead and enter in the check from my part-time employer to be budgeted. I'm just going to memo this as April. Second, and then I'm gonna leave a note at spring break admin leave. So it's a little bit lower than normal because one week it was spring break for the um, school, so I didn't work that week. And then the second week it was kind of an extended spring break where they wanted to give they they gave all employees administrative leave for that week. So I still got to like input my normal five hours a week and I just got paid administrative leave for that. Um, and that was to allow the school time to see, you know, what was going to go on with COVID. Could they come back to the campus? And if not, how were they going to continue on the rest of the semester? So um, I just kind of wanted to leave that note in there. What I always do with my part-time income, it always goes to um, my student loans. So... Um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, since it's such a small paycheck, I normally would put 15% into my taxes line here. Um, I don't make enough from my part-time job to have federal taxes withhold, withheld, and then, um, I don't really put it on my other W-4s. I don't have them take out the extra tax from my full-time jobs just because, I'm not even sure how long I'm going to have this job, so for now I'm just kind of setting aside money. I usually set aside 15%, but I'm going to break my rules um, because, like I said, it's such a small paycheck, and I'm not even sure how much longer I'm going to have this job, so I might not even need the full $71 I've set aside for this for taxes. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this full $50 into federal loan A. So that I have $13.83.92 budgeted for. Then I'm going to come back to my checking account and input my paycheck from my previous full-time job. If you don't know, um, I've said it in a couple previous videos, so go watch past videos to kind of hear more. But as of March 30th, I have a new job. I started on Monday. Um, and so this is my last payment. This is March. This is April third paycheck um, from my previous employer. It's a full two weeks of work, um, and then I'm actually going to get paid next week, April tenth, for the first two weeks of my new job. So I'm very grateful to be in this position. I'm also 
a little bit nervous. I kind of feel like at any potential moment, this new job could, something could change. But as of right now, I'm employed and I'm going to budget as if I'm employed. So this budgeting is going to actually be really quick. We'll see. I'm going to put $400 towards my 2020 IRA. This is actually the first time I'm contributing to this IRA this year. Um, the $2,200 that was in here, yeah, the two, no, the $222 that was in here before I budgeted this $400, um, that was like leftover money from my 2019 end of year bonus for my last shop. So it wasn't a lot. I just kind of didn't need that money. So I just, okay, I'll start. I'll just throw that in there and use it towards my IRA. But um, I do want to max out my IRA this year. And given that the stock market is down, 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 now would be a good time to actually start putting the money into my account and buying some stuff. So that's the goal of that. Next, I'm going to put $500 into my 2020 medical deductible category. I'm um, with my new job. I, I switched off my mom's medical insurance and am now being covered um, just myself with, at my new job. And I want to have, I want to save up the full medical deductible. Eventually, I want to be able to save up the full out-of-pocket max at the beginning of every year. But for now, I'm just working on the medical deductible. So I'm um, which is $1,600, so actually let me edit this name and add that. So I'm actually on my way there. And then, with the rest of this, promised, told you guys this was going to be a quick budgeting video. I'm going to open up my federal loan, my uh, student loan section again. Um, you can see Five of my student loans are all paid off and I have one left that's just at about $5,200. I'm going to put the rest of this 3, 6, 5, 29 towards federal loan A. And my goal is to have the full $5,200 saved up by um, September of this year because due to COVID, um, interest is suspended, and then I'm going to, I think I'm still gonna do the minimum payment of $58 a month, but I'm not gonna put anything extra on that um, in case in a couple of months they're like, hey, we need another boost to the economy, let's forgive some student loans. I don't wanna pay it all down and then three months later, it's like, oh, they're gone. And obviously that's, you know, it's like maybe a five, maybe not even a 5% chance of that happening, but since they are giving us that kind of six months period where interest is not accru accru accruing, I might as well keep the money and in case something does happen, I lose a job or there's another emergency, I can kind of take that money and move it um, if needed. But for now, I did budget $415.29 to federal loan A today, and that brings my pay my total available up to seven, $1,749.21. Um, I didn't do much budgeting in my other categories because they're all budgeted for. There are a couple of categories in here that are blank, and that's just because I'm not currently budgeting money for that, but it will be in later months. I'm not specifying an extra $20 for giving or extra $20 for fun yet. Um, that's going to be withheld until... Um, I get my first paycheck for my new job, which, like I said, will be next week, April 10th. But, um, yeah, April is already budgeted for, and then all of my immediate obligations in May are already budgeted for as well. Oh, actually, it's good that I switched over here. You see, I, I actually recently added this Kindle Unlimited category, and I need 513 left, so... I'm going to come back to April and subtract this 513 
from uh, my Federal Loan A category and just under and just fund that completely. So that's my budget. Before we go, really quick, the last thing I'm gonna do is come into my checking account and reconcile. So this cleared and then this cleared. So my checking account balance is 928.64, it's correct. My savings account is, this is cleared, is at 650588, that's correct. Um, I don't have any other new charges on my credit cards. And then the last thing I'm going to do is kind of come over to my reports. So, so far in total income, I have for April 13000 13, wow, I wish, $1,317.28. And then for a quick glance at my net worth, I'm going to focus this this year. Um, there's a little bit of a an increase just with my assets increasing by $1,300. You can see that a little bit here too. Um, this has the full, all of my dates. So this is when I started in February of 2019. And now 14 months later, or 13 months in the beginning of the 14th month later, this is where I currently sit with my net worth. Okay, yeah, so that's my budget. Um, please check out my previous videos. I go a little bit more in depth about all these categories and um, my new job and all of that. Uh, but other than that, there's not much else to do this paycheck. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this time.